Hey dudes, douches, nerds and geeks to my final review of the e-server. Turning an old PC into a NAS home server is nothing special, but I suppose I am the first one done this with the Asus EPC. To be exact, the EPC 701 for Gigabyte Surf. I was very, <coughs> sorry, I was very happy with it until the day it, I let it fall down and the display got spiked by a heel of my girlfriend. Oh, that's nice. So I thought, okay, shit, $250 a gun with the shitty fucking wind. But then I was thinking, yeah. Only the display is broken. The inside should be fine. So I hooked it up to a monitor and a USB keyboard. Keyboard was also broken in the EPC, so I need a USB. And it worked like a ace, really. It worked perfect. So I got the idea to do this. And I have to say, after everything works, it's just pure awesomeness. Imperfection. Pure awesomeness in perfection. Before me and my girlfriend always quarreled about PC. I use Linux, she Windows, uh, because one of us has downloading something, and so if if I use a PC, then I I have to stop my download and she start into Windows and then she just look email, this takes just five minutes. And it was just big, big problems. Just big problems. Other problem was when we wanted to watch a movie in the bedroom with our laptop. Um, I always had to copy things on the USB and carry it there, this take time and it's it's annoying, it's just annoying. Or boot up the PC to enable file sharing. So I really recommend a NAS or a home server, not even should not be even the EPC, to everybody who use more one than one PC in a house. So but now let's look at it, okay? Good. We look at the EPC. Here it is. You see that I use the external hard drive and setting it up was a son of a bitch. Here's the hard drive. I tried to install the base system on the SSD and mount swap and home to the hard drive. Bad thing was that this didn't work at all. Then I installed everything on the hard drive and it wouldn't boot. After long research I found that Guap sees a USB hard drive, not as HD 2.0, blah blah blah. It's always HD 0.0. After I fixed this, the system booted and I installed the things that I needed. I want, in fact, just three programs right now uh, on, on this. This is Samba, Artorrent and SSH. I, pl I plan more, but I don't really need at more at this moment. So. Um, uh, let, let's take a look at the programs, shall we? Okay. Here I SSH'd into my e-server. It's running and you see it's using just... It's always. Any time. Uh, it was never using more than about 10% of processing power. And the processor is fucking slow. And, it's, and I clocked it down even to save energy and um, for, for hot days. So, uh, it's, it's really, 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 it runs very good. It runs now without reboot over nearly two days. And um, like you see, it's very, very good. And yeah, it's just used 29 megabyte of RAM. Here we see our torrent and this works like an ACE2. If you live in a country, where some torrent sites are banned, you know what I mean, then you have to use DHT. DHT only works mm, with our torrent version higher than 0 0.8 and libtorrent higher than 12. I, I, I don't know with libtorrent, but I know our torrent has to be higher than uh, 0 0.8. So I had to compile it myself. It's not so hard. Keep in mind that if you compile it on Arch, it will not, and I repeat, it will not install on user um, bin, blah, blah, blah. It will install to user local bin. So keep this in mind. Don't search a long time around. You can fix this, I guess, too. 
Uh, yeah, like I say, I can log in from anywhere in the world in this PC. I tried it in several in uh, several net bars and Starbucks. It works. I can log in. It's no problem. And I disabled the um, wireless LAN for security. And I in fact don't use wireless LAN at home, so I disabled it completely. If you install it, you should. You should, um, how can I say, disable things like sound in the BIOS. You can disable it. Then you have to unload the modules. This this gives you a bit more processing power. Okay. Now let's look on the little thing I have here. This are my Zamba shares, and this Zamba share is special because if I download the torrent file, then I just put it here, and our, our torrent will automatically start the download. This I I don't. I think this is nothing new, but it's very, very useful thing. I like it very, very much. It makes my life so much easier. I don't have to um, one resource hogging torrent programs anymore. I can, I can play. I can play computer games. I can do whatever I want. I, if I want high processing power and download at the same time, now it's no problem anymore. I also have some shares, like you see here, yeah, some, some movies inside. And so the great thing is, I can watch a movie, I can just 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 click it out here and just watch it fine. My girlfriend too, so this thing is able, the EPC is able to, how can I say, to stream two movies, high quality, HD, uh, into two different onto two different devices without problem. It it don't lag. It's very, very, very good. The bad thing I have to say is not on the EPC. Sometimes it's uh, the system is slow, but that's only because of my shitty dealing router. And uh, like you see, I'm in China. So the freaking router is in Chinese and I have no idea how to how to configure it. I'm very happy that I could enable the DHCP. So this is a little problem right now, but I guess when I go back to my country, I can buy a I can buy a good router and make it there. So this was this was a little review of the e-server. I hope you like it, and if you want, you can leave a comment. Uh, if you have questions, just ask in comments or send a send a message. And if you have suggestions or you you want to tell me what I can do better. Just tell me. Ah, uh, by the way, I use Arch Linux. It's an amazing, great operating system. And I try other operating systems. I like, tried Ubuntu Server, I tried FreeBSD, OpenBSD. But this one is the best, I have, I have to say. This really owns everything. So, thank you. Yeah. 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 Thank you and goodbye. Now let's take a little round and bye bye